for Riley, we found out that he had a, a stage, I think it was a stage four brain bleed, which meant three quarters of his brain was bleeding. And I think for the first time, I don't know what hit me, but I remember saying, I don't think he's gonna make it. We went down to a meeting room and yeah, they started to talk us through what the stage four brain bleed meant and um, the implications of that. And with medical advice, uh, it, was, it was deemed that the, the next step was to stop intervention. All women that and their families who come into the Royal and are going to experience the loss of a pregnancy or a baby are referred to the social work department. I met Amanda and Grisha um, in the NICU when they found out that their baby boy Riley, who was a twin, was going to pass away. They organised for us to say goodbye and this is where um, the social worker that we worked with, Kerry Diamond, was just unbelievable without us even knowing. She created a lifetime of memories for us in three hours. Every centimetre of his tiny, tiny body, which could fit in my hand, um, had something attached to him, heart leads, the works. And so when we realised, um, or we, we knew that we were going to stop intervention, they started to take some of that away and they let us be part of that process. Um, so then he was just a little little baby with his um, his breathing tube um, and we got to hold him and have cuddles and read a story and just do all like all those firsts that you, you want. There is no rule book when your baby dies as to what you should do and so we're like Talk, walking talking guides. We offer the families opportunities to um, spend time with their baby, to take photos of their baby, to have hand and footprints done of their babies, um, to go outside and walk in the outdoors with their babies if that's something they want, and then to talk to them a little bit about perinatal grief and what to expect in the coming um, weeks and months. We refer them as well to community support organisations where they can access ongoing perinatal loss counselling and really just try and have them walk away from what is the saddest, most heart-wrenching experience with some beautiful memories of the time that they did get to spend with their babies. During our time at the NICU, um, the social workers organised a weekly beading session. Um, it was really great. It was a time where the mums and dads could get together to... Um, to bead, to represent what has happened the week prior to your baby. Um, and it wasn't only just representing what happened, it also serves as a memory to not only um, your baby that you can share it with them in the future, but as, as a mum and dad, what you went through, because you tend to forget all the, all the procedures or tests, exams, gosh, blood transfusions, everything they go through. So this was Riley's um, for 54 hours of his life. And then we created one for Lucas, which is incredible. It's over nearly two metres long. Down, down the line somewhere, his first, his first bath. It reminds you of when you had your first cuddle, which was a really special moment, being able to hold your baby for the first time ever. So it was just, the beads were yeah, a great way. The social workers um, helped you to process and just go, actually, this is what you've been through and this is how you know, courageous you've been and how brave your little boy has been. We were internally grateful for the survival of Lucas and he um, battled through many um, complications from uh, a brain bleed himself, paracetamol duct, heart issue, blood transfusion, infections, uh, white blood cell issues, um, so many more that I just can't remember at this point in time. Um, we watched Lucas grow uh, for for over four months at the NICU, so over 121 days um, with the staff and the nurses and the doctors there, uh, watching him yeah, go through um, chronic lung disease, um, bowel issues, teaching him how to breastfeed with 
um, all the life-saving respiratory um, devices. Um, that was a challenge, um, but yeah, we, we worked through it and we left the NICU yeah, after 121 days and managed to, to get home with a, a baby, I think must have been 2.9 kilos when we took him home. So our, our perfect tiny little bundle of joy who um, is doing really well on the outside. Um, he still has a multiple um, things that we need to do to care for him, but he is growing every day and is a really happy, loved, strong, powerful boy who yeah, is taking this world by storm. Donate this giving day so we can support more mothers through these challenging times.